Coach Rob Monsbach the pride placing fourth in the EIWA championships. Uh, the first uh, championships for the Pride in the EIWA, four wrestlers going to the NCAA championship, and Hofstra's first EIWA champion in Joe Booth. Tell us about the performance today on Sunday. Yeah, I think the guys did a nice job. Uh, I think they did a nice job all weekend, especially today, wrestling hard, and, and uh, you know, Cody and Joe and uh, Luke and Jamie all getting their way to the national tournament. That was the goal this weekend to come here, wrestle well, and get out to the national tournament. And uh, those four guys did it. Frank Affronti did a great job wrestling back, uh, unseated wrestling back, took fourth, uh, put himself in a chance to get an at-large bid. Um, you know, which comes out I think Wednesday. So, you know, overall everybody at Wrestle Day competed hard. Very proud of the way the guys fought all weekend long, and it was a, a great start to our EIWA uh, I guess career. Joe Booth, uh, three-year qualifier at Drexel, uh, no conference champion, comes to Hofstra uh, and gets his first conference championship and goes into the NCAA as a conference champion. Uh, what can you say about Joe Booth? Yeah, he's done an outstanding job all season for us. Uh, you know, I think he has about 30 wins on a year. He's a guy we've relied on pretty heavily. And, um, you know, when he wrestles, the, his ability, he, he's one of the top kids in the country. So we just need to keep him believing in himself. And uh, come Nationals, I think he's going to be a guy that we're going to be looking for to be on that podium. Luke Bite, heartbreaking double sudden victory loss. Uh, little snake bit there. you got to feel for Luke Bite. Yeah, I mean, he gets wrestled so hard. Uh, you know, does the right things all the time, and, and that's what you know. He was at the end of the match. We can't, we had the match in hand, uh, and instead of, just, instead of just sitting on the lead, he's trying to score points. He gets taken down right at the end to go into overtime. Uh, you know, it's hard to be mad at a guy that's trying to extend his lead and do those things. But uh, you know, we, we just got to get him to wrestle a little bit smarter. It's the, the national tournament coming up for him, his last one, and uh, he's very capable of being on that podium. We just got to make sure he's wrestling smart out there. Now, Jamie Franco, he qualified uh, Saturday night. So he was in, but uh, still wrestled and, and, and placed uh, fifth, fifth uh, in the tournament. And uh, tell us about Jamie. This Jamie, is his last go around. Yeah, Jamie, you know, was in a very diff uh, in one of the best weights in the conference. I had six automatic qualifiers. It shows you the depth of it. Uh, you know, he makes the semifinals, wrestling some really tough matches. Uh, you know, he runs into some guys that are, you know, top ten in the country. And, uh, you know, obviously if we want to get on that podium, we're going to have to find a way to beat those guys. And we got two weeks to get him ready. But, again, another outstanding job by Jamie coming in here, scoring a lot of points for the team and really helping us uh, take fourth. And Cody Ruggiero keeps getting better week by week by week, becoming just the third brother combination in Hofstra history behind the arenas and the Patroviches to uh, have brothers going to the NCAA championships in Hofstra. Uh, tell us about Cody. Yeah, I mean, it's been his story all year long. Every time he goes out there, he's a little bit better. We're starting to see him, like, the, the kid that we recruited out of high school, his arm bar, is getting to his leg attacks, and uh, he, he did that this weekend, you know, two pins. Uh, this weekend, he had a tough semifinal loss, uh, and he comes back in the, in the Constellation semis knowing he needs to win that match to get the automatic bid, and uh, wrestled a very good kid, Adam Kropp, who I think was 22-2 was and two, uh, coming into this tournament, and just really did an outstanding job, I think 1-9-5, 9-4, something like that, really just put it to him, and, uh, you know, again, every time he goes out there, he gets a little more confident, he gets a little more better, a little bit better, and uh, he's wrestling really well going into the uh, NCAAs. And good luck, Coach, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you.